All right, a little story here with some picture cards, and uh, I'll use the four queens for this because these represent mystery shoppers, and the deck itself um, represents a department store in actual fact. So I'll pop the mystery shoppers down here, and as you can see, it's a pretty large department store with lots of uh, floors on it. Now, at the side of the department store, there happens to be a car park, a multi-storey car park. So the first shopper goes in at the basement and enters the store right at the bottom. She presses the up button for the elevator and appears at the top uh, floor there, where some good stores are, some good uh, counters. Now, the second queen, she goes later in the day, so she has trouble parking. She's got to go right up to the roof car park, and so she actually enters the department store right by the, the roof of the top floor there. And she heads down, she presses the button, goes down in the elevator, goes part way, and then goes all the way to the very bottom, you see, we got to see where the, the sale department is. So she's able to pick up a lot of gifts for friends. This queen goes sort of mid-afternoon, the car park's uh, not quite so bad, she's sort of midway up, enters the store, midway up, mid-level from the car park, straight into the department store, and she gets to the lift, and as soon as she gets to the lift, she realises she's left all her credit cards at home, so she, she quickly... Uh, turned around and headed back out to go home. And as for the last mystery shopper, she went in on the ground floor, pressed the up button and then turned right up on the top floor. They call this one the Queen of Diamonds. It's not a nickname, really. It's just that she won the lottery the other week. So he, she heads straight for the uh, diamond counter and goes home with as many diamonds as she can find. Well, it's always handy when you win the lottery, isn't it?